the sorus, then my back and chest have felt simultaneously ever. Up together. It's a weird feeling. Welcome to today's workout with IFBB Pro Aaron Politis. Today we're going through chest and back, and this is from about seven weeks out of his pro debut. Now, on paper, the workout itself seems very, very basic. There's only two main exercises. However, it's all about the different technique cues that I'm giving him that make it such a fantastic workout. So pay attention to those cues because I know you guys are going to get a lot out of it. Before we get started, I do need to mention that the first couple of minutes of audio aren't the best because of all the different sounds in the background of the gym, but in the rest of the workout, the audio does get a lot clearer. So, I hope you guys enjoy. The reason why I want to do chest and back is a lot of the lat work and the mid-back work is really going to help with your shoulder position. Yeah. It's going to help open you up more and keep everything locked down when you're doing your press. Yeah. The second you start hitting these kinds of positions, and you don't press like that, yeah. but it's literally a millimetre. When you're in pain, a millimetre of movement, which you can't even see, I can't even see, yeah. that would be enough to fuck you up long term. So yeah. the more that we hit this, we'll keep you in position. It makes sense, because little, little, little things that I'm very small. The pain can go from real bad to non-existent, for, for, and you're like, don't, I don't, it doesn't hurt today. And yeah. then it's bad again, real bad. And then it's like, what the hell? And then it comes and goes. And sure. So it would be a minute little, yeah. you know, yeah. thing. So. so we're going to start here with the lap pull-down. Yeah. I'm putting these guys up just because I want you to move your grip freely. I don't like being stuck on a barbell in any position. Like, it's not a bad thing at all, but especially when you have that old wrist stuff from a decade or so ago, years ago, I want to give you as much freedom here as possible to really find the right pattern for you. Yeah. Because these bars aren't made for this now, can be molded to you. Yeah. So, a couple of things. With the lap pull down, thank you for you. I don't actually see it as much of a lat exercise. You will get a lot of lats, but if we do it right, I really want to fill out this mid-back spot, right your shoulder blades. So what I want you to do to begin with is put your arms slightly aside. You can do it like that if you want. And keeping your elbow angle fixed, I want you to bring your arms over here. Like a, like a motion, like, like you're doing a, sort of like a fly, right? So as you do that, start really thinking about your shoulder blades and then your back. They're rolling up as you come up. Yeah. And then they come down and they squeeze down. And when you get down there, think about pulling outwards as well. So pull back and out. Good. Keep this down though. Don't let that flare. Perfect, perfect. Come back up again. And I want you to think about this whole pivot line. It's pivoting on your shoulder blade. The shoulder blade rolls up. Yeah. Shoulder blade twists down. That's how you get your mid-back working in that position. Oh yeah. I want yeah, you so to like, sort of like well, rolling it back. Yeah. Well, so to get not, that 3D effect. Yeah. So you're not jamming back with your lats. It's your scapula going in that plane there. Yeah. That would be a very different effect. That's yeah. So come on in. Let's try that out. Wait for life for you. Tilt back, about there. I think about remember shoulder blades are up and then shoulder blades pulling together in that way. Do I keep them down at that, that, that angle? Yeah, yeah. So my hands are in the shoulder blades, shoulder blade opens up, shoulder blade pinches in. Good, keep going like that. Really pull down now. Perfect, good. Again. Shoulder blades in and then pull down. One more. Then pull down. Awesome. That feels real good. I like that. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I like. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna slowly build that up. Um, I can sort of yeah. see what you mean now. So like, this bit sort of, this bottom half sort of stays pivoted, and you yeah. come on that angle to that, yeah. increase that 3D. Yeah, it moves. Yeah. It's just yeah. This section here, that's gonna make you pop a lot. Sort of goes on a plane like that a little bit. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So important thing now is when you're doing this, I really want you to think about that spot, that mid-back area. Really jam that in and hold it there the entire time. Whenever you press now, I don't want you to think about letting yourself deviate around at all. You have enough connections. Keep that mid-back on and just here, pivoting straight up and down. Torso shouldn't move at all. So keep thinking mid-back, mid-back. Go the closer grip that we were playing with at the start last time. Let's start with that. 
just think that mid-back, perfect. And I want you to stop about a fist off your chest, so about here-ish. Good. Now don't lose that positioning here. I think that shoulder blade pulling down, down, down. Perfect, good. Mid-back, mid-back, squeeze it in, good. Good, man. Keep going. Lat, better. Keep thinking as much lat when you press up. Lat, 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 good. Two more. Good, last one. Lat, nice. Good. You lose it a little bit. It's a very weird thing to be thinking about lats when you press. But I want you to really think about just driving them down. Like you're doing sort of like a stiff arm pull down. That should be your focus when you're pushing up. That way we can very easily load you up a lot heavier without risking snapping anything. What I want you to do in your next set Lie back again, just grab onto it. Don't lift it off just yet though. Put your hands up as if you're about to lift it. What I want you to do for me, because it's gonna stay relatively light, is put your thumbs over the bar and make sure your wrist stays right, uh, sorry, your elbow stays right under your wrist here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you've still got to keep the lats in. That's yeah, the so hard part. So that makes it don't put too much strike into it. Yeah, but that's gonna, the well, second you bring it, your, your lats on, your elbows wanna do this, which is tricep. So we've got to teach you how to keep your lats on but the elbows still stay a little bit higher. So let's try it out. Just five, strong grip, more lat. That's better. That's it, that's it, that's it, good. Elbows pulling in towards the center line. Better, good, good, good. Don't lose it at the top, keep strong at the top. Lats, good. One more, you got it. Okay, just give me five, make it a really good five. Slow release on the way up. Circle, squeeze. Slow it down, man. Better, better. Think you're posing that on stage. You're gonna hit that right there. And slowly release. It always stays on. Go again. One more. Good. Down. Nice. We're on the elbow. Where, where have your issues oh, been elbow-wise? I don't know, just okay. felt the joint a lot of it, locked down a little bit too hard. Yeah. Maybe I'm just not, used to that. just not used to doing that. So, actually, that's a good point. Lock out like you just did just, just then. Now, there's different, if you lock out like, like that, that's different to locking out like this. Like that, like that. Yeah, so one of them, bend your elbows again. When you lock out, you typically want to bring your hands out here, right? And you feel triceps. If you keep your hands right here, so push into me, then lock out by pushing your elbow. See how they came that way? Yeah. Keep them, in, keep them right there. Squeeze your elbows together. Now that's oh, yeah. chest, yeah? Yeah, yeah. They're both lockouts, but one is triceps and elbow, yeah, one, one is, is chest. One's angled, one is chest. Yeah. Like, more, that, yeah. So that's what you've got to think about. Yeah, you've got to think about you're not doing that. The hands stay on a fixed plane and the elbows move inwards. Yeah. That's such a tiny thing, but that's why you've got big arms and not as much chest. Because that little thing done over 15 years, yeah. that's what it is. Yeah. So if we can change, now you're conscious of it, we can start thinking about that and not that, that'll yeah. be your chest. Lat, lat, lat. Beautiful, much stronger, go again. Lat, 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 in. Good man. Last one, lat, perfect, good one. If you start thinking that on all your pressing, it'll make a big difference for you. It, it literally is like a mental reprogram. Like when you really think about it, even like the most basic bicycle, like imagine a single arm fucking dumbbell curl. There's a lot going on there. You gotta think about keeping this pin back. You gotta think about elbow staying in. You gotta think about supinating. You gotta think about 10 different cues. Otherwise, it all goes out the window. Now that's a fucking simple fucking movement. If such a simple thing can fuck you up, this is complex. This has got bigger, more muscles, it's harder to stabilize, and this is still in a fixed machine. You know, so it's not, it makes sense that it should be actually quite mentally challenging. Which is fine, you know, this is where it's a skill. You get better at this skill, like kicking a footy, eventually it becomes automatic. And you act on instinct, and then it will just be always bang, chest. And then we can tell you, okay, you know what, Aaron, chuck three plates on the incline, incline barbell, throw it, 
and your brain knows how to use the chest properly without bashing other shit up. Like, you don't have to think about a thing when you go do your biceps. They, they work properly, and you don't bash up anything else. We want that for here, and we can do that. Let's do it again, four reps. Try to get that lockout on every rep. Just don't lose your shoulders. Let's go for it. Smooth up, lock. Yeah, good man, good, good, good. Again, smooth up, lats and lock. Beautiful, beautiful. Big chest. Good, one more. Lock at the top, don't lose your lats. Lock, hold it, flex hard. Good, done. That was a really good set. Oh, my back there. <laughs> you feel your back? Well, that feels like I've done a whole, whole entire back workout. Good. Good, it should, man. It should. It's really sore. Fuck, fuck. Fuck the doms feeling already, you know? It's <laughs> like done 20 sets of family rows. Awesome. I like it. Like. I like it. Come on in. Heavier again. Just give me three. Like the more I do this movement, the more pumped my back is. Good. Good man, mid back. Now chest lock out, don't forget your lats. One more, one more, lat lock out, go. Perfect. <laughs> this is the sorest that my back and chest have felt simultaneously ever. Up together, it's a weird feeling. It's like I love it. It's like my whole body, my whole upper body's been bashed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not used to the whole thing being sore. Like, I just feel like, like I need to go on a camera phone. I'll go on one of those cryo chambers and just... And just drop dead in I there. So be up all the time. All right, circular motion. Get it in. Good, there you go. It's your last set here, man. Make it count. Think mid-back. There you go. Fill it out. Yes, good, good, good. Again, mid back, fill it out. Keep going. Release slow, release slow. Again, you got it. Contract it down, circular motion. Release slow. Good man, go again. Get it in, hold it, release slow. Think squeeze down, two more reps. Squeeze it down, squeeze it down, squeeze it down. Better. Last one. Get it down, squeeze it. Hold, now release slow. You got it, release. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There it is. Good man. Surprising, yeah? It's, we've done two movements and your back is, well, I mean, maybe I, I one movement. That, that back and forth, three, four times, only and that's it, I'm done. <laughs> Nearly. I'm so sore. Nearly. All right. Why am I so tired? Usually I train for hours and months. You know? It's very different, well, like different movements. Too. I know that. I know it's different movements, different but movements. it's also a very targeted thing. So probably the, the, the reality is you'll train for two hours to get the same response in your body. Yeah. We're getting two hours of work done in 40 minutes, yeah. you know, and it's disgusting. Just being slammed by it at once. No lube, just straight in, fisted. Yeah. All right. This one is going to be really challenging because it's going to put you in a direct position that could fuck that shit up. Yeah. Okay? So really, that's why we got, we're doing it now at the end. It's like gonna be gamble. light. Gotta... Yeah, you're gonna be literally thinking about that lockout, Deep that chest bit, lockout. That's all I want you thinking about. But you'll be loading up. Yeah. Just make sure your shoulders, try to find that position where you're pinned down still. If you elevate too much, it will pinch that spot. So if you feel it, stop. But we'll see how you go with it. Cause it'd be really good for this region through your packs. And more of a press out? Not yeah, a fly? Yep. yeah it's, it's more of a press. It's, it's yeah. not even a fly. So, perfect, you're right there. Now, I want your hands finishing here, right by your waist. Right. right here. Perfect. And don't think tricep, think chest. When you come up, keep it slow so your chest is slowly releasing. And right through here. That's it. There's far enough. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Back down. Small range of motion. Oh. Good. Now think about your hands staying right here, but your elbows come in. Elbows. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Hands here. Elbows. Yeah, I like it. I like Good. Me. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Bring it up. That'll I like do. Me. Good. You're getting, like, you're getting your elbows and washing the chest in. Yes. 
Yeah, it burns. Yes, it does. The chest inside. It's right through oh. this spot here. When you see a side chest pose, it's like you realise why it's so good. Yeah, and it gives you like a bleeding sort of look. Yeah. Yeah, your chest looks fantastic. Just stand there, relax, just so you can see that hang from, from the side. And just pull that shoulder back. There you go, cool. Yeah, it looks way bigger than I. Yeah. It's definitely come up a lot. It looks, looks way bigger. So much, so much. I mean, I've been mean, like, intrigued to see because I've always got to cop a lot of flack on my chest. Yeah. When I get in the stage, time, people are going to say, you know, like, he's brought up a lot because it's been, for me, the hardest movement, hardest thing to bring up. But I really do feel like this time it's really good condition. Like, you know, dry it looks, you know, but it has come up a lot. That's fucked up. Holy shit. <laughs> like, it's lean, but I'm looking at the, how much fuller it is right now compared to when I saw you last time. Yeah, and it's seven weeks out too, like. Yeah. That's so much better. 